uh, in a society in which she didn't feel entirely comfortable. And so the psychological element was quite uh, uppermost in her mind. And I think it was that tension between her background uh, from the North um, uh, and the modest family, I think, in the North, uh, and her situation in, in an intellectually uh, exciting and important place like Cambridge, that tension, I think, led her uh, further into uh, subjects of, um, of uh, psychological analysis. And um, uh, so her, uh, her take on uh, uh, India, South India, the Nayar, Namudiri matter, um, uh, took her further and further in the direction of psychoanalytic theories. And I was at the time myself very interested in psychoanalysis, so that was another bond between us. Because at that, at that time, I thought that you know, some of the problems in Turkey um, could be understood by a combination of uh, psychology, uh, um, psychological theorizing, and sociological theorizing. Uh, I've come to believe that, uh, that politics doesn't lend itself very easily uh, to psycho psych psychological analysis, in fact. Um, that the sociological parts, anthropological parts, are much more important. But uh, at that time, in any case, this was a nice bond between us, and we, we, we explored all sorts of uh, theories uh, uh, and ideas. And it was a, it was a matter of, of immense enthusiasm uh, on the part of uh, uh, Kathleen Goff, uh, Jack Woody, Yes, but he was such a warm and gentle and decent and open human being. And that was, that came through loud and clear uh, in all his relations. There was a way in which he could bring out the best in people. And I think that has been true for Jack Goody all his life. He has been able to generate the best out of people. And that was, that was a, a, an, an aspect of his character which uh, I found extremely attractive and very charming. Mm.